Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshekran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this video, we will take a look into what is Oracle Base. When you install Oracle software for the first time in a machine, you would need to specify a folder that would act as a base for all the Oracle related softwares and folders. And every subsequent folders will be organized and referred using this base folder. So this folder is called Oracle Base. So Oracle Base is the folder in which all the Oracle softwares for that machine will be installed. You may configure any folder as an Oracle Base. Once it is configured, all the directory structures will use Oracle Base as its base and will build upon it. For example, if you configure C colon slash app slash Oracle as your Oracle Base, then every folders will be created beneath it in a uniform structure. If you want to install Oracle 12C software in Windows, it will by default be installed in C colon slash app slash Oracle slash product 12.1.0, which is the version of the software currently slash DB home underscore one, which would be the Oracle home. Because you have configured Oracle base as C colon slash app slash oracle okay so and if we install sql developer which is another product from oracle it will be installed in sql and slash app slash oracle product slash sql developer i mean you can change the location of the installation but you know what i'm saying is once you configure an oracle base then it would be easy for the software to know what is Oracle Base and build all the folders beneath that. Okay, so it is very important to set up the Oracle Base environment variable before installing the Oracle software. Okay, so to do that, first create the folder that you would want to designate as Oracle Base. Then set the environment variable Oracle underscore base. In Linux, you would set it up like this, export Oracle uh, underscore base equal to whatever folder you want, right? This would be the case in most of the Unix platforms, Unix and Linux platforms. In Windows, you would use this command set oracle base equal to whatever folder that you want to use as oracle base okay so what if oracle base wasn't set up before invoking the oracle universal installer oracle universal installer is the tool provided by oracle to install any oracle software okay so the procedure is you would need to configure oracle base environment variable and then you would invoke the oracle universal installer but what if you did not configure it okay so in linux and unix environments it will search for the first writable directory from mount points or which are equivalent to the disk drives like C drives, D drives in Windows environment, right? It will search for bound points from U01 to U09. And it needs to be a writable mount point or writable directory. Okay, so it will search for the first writable directory. Okay, so let us say it finds 
slash u02 as the first writable directory and you have logged in as the operating system user oracle remember when you log into any such systems any multi user systems like windows linux right you would need to log in as a user which is the operating system user and it's common to create a user called oracle in these database machines and install oracle software based on that user okay so you have logged in as the user oracle then it will create a folder called slash u02 slash app slash oracle which is the username and will make it as the oracle base okay when i say username it's the operating system username okay if it cannot find any writable area from slash u01 to slash u09 then it will create the app slash oracle directory under the users home directory so this is the case in linux or unix in windows what will happen is it will search for the disk drive that has the most amount of free space okay for example if d drive has more has the most amount of free space then it would go and create a folder called slash app slash oracle which is again the username right who is user and it will treat that as the oracle base so that's how oracle base uh, works when if when you don't configure the oracle base before installing oracle universal uh, before using uh, oracle universal installer so uh, if you if you have installed oracle without configuring oracle base and if you have trouble connecting to the database then you would need to go and find out what is your oracle base from there you can find out what is your oracle home and you would need to set up uh, your oracle home and the sid that you want to connect which we will talk later uh, and then you would be able to connect appropriately thanks for watching